in this class we'll talk about what reference counting means in Java okay so I have a program here it is it creates an object of a class called a okay and this class has has one attribute which is an integer type called i and I'm creating an object a1 of this class a okay so what happens is Java will create will create an object of class a with the integer i set equal to 3 and it will create a reference called a1 which is pointing to that on line number 10 we are creating a variable called a2 which is again of type a and we are assigning a1 to a2 so what will happen is it will create a reference called a2 which is also pointing to the same object where a1 is pointing now the reference count for this object is 2 you have a1 pointing to the same object and a2 also pointing to the same object then on line 13 we are creating one more object of class a whose attribute i is set to 5 so what java does is it will create another object of type A with the attribute I set to 5 and A3 will be pointing to this object so A3 is a reference to this object ok then on line 16 we are assigning a3 to a5 so a5 will be pointing to the same object that a3 is pointing to so the refer reference count for this object is also 2 ok and then on line number 17 we are assigning a1 to a3 so a3 will now point to where a1 is pointing to so this this link is broken down and a3 is pointing to where a1 is pointing which is this object and this reference count will become 3 and this one will become 1 now then on line number 23 a5 is assigned to a4 okay so now a4 will be pointing to the object which a5 is pointing to so now that this reference count will become 2 okay when the reference count becomes 0 that's when that object can be garbage collected by the garbage collector the garbage collector it runs as a low priority thread in Java it's an asynchronous one it will sweep all the objects whose reference count becomes zero so let's say now I make all of them point to let's say I make both a4 and a5 point to the object a1 Now what will happen is 
both these links over here are, are broken so a5 and a4 are both removed so the, the reference count of this object will become 0 and both a5 and a4 are now pointing to where a1 is pointing so now this reference count will become 5 and the reference count of this object becomes 0 so this object can is a potential for will be garbage collected because its reference count has become 0 so this is how reference counting works in Java you can try out with this example program to see how reference counting works